Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video and this one I got something great for you. In this one I'm going to show you how to create content that avoids AI detection. We call it humanization or in some cases avoiding AI slop. I'm going to show you how to use Chat LLM Teams, an incredible AI app to do this. It is a piece of cake. Just lock in, buckle up. I'm going to show you. Let's take a look. All right, here we go. So here I am. I'm logged into a blank screen of Chat LLM Teams. Of course, I put a link in the description below. Click on it. You're on your way. Now, before I show you the magic in Chat LLM Teams, let me show you one thing here. I'm going to switch over to Chrome. Here is the original text, the original article I wrote using Claude Sonnet 4.5 in Chat LLM Teams. I typed it in. I said, detect text. 96.51% AI written. It detected it with zero GPT. It's a free AI detector. There's lots out there. This is one we're going to use. And I said, hey, yeah, that's AI content. I hit the humanize button. I hit detect text again. Look at this. It went down to 0% AI content. It is completely human written. This is an absolutely incredible result. And it is one click literally now let me show you how i did it all right here we go so we're logged into chat llm teams let's do the ai detection work here it is a piece of cake the first step of course you want to write an article now i'm going to go ahead and quickly click on this arrow here to show you all the large language models this is not just a one trick pony chat llm teams can do everything it's absolutely wild i am going to choose Claude Sonnet 4.5 for this one. And I'm going to write an article on machine learning because that's what I'm into here. So I just simply typed in, write a 1000 word blog article on machine learning and I hit enter. This could be any topic you want. If you're doing something on another topic, just type in what you're looking for, how long you want it to be. This is a very simple prompt. And there we go. We got ourselves a nice basic article here, which is what we wanted. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to copy it because I want to show you the AI detection piece. I'm going to copy it just as is. And now watch this. I'm going to switch over to Chrome. And here is the previous example that got a 0% AI human text. And then here is the original, which got 96.5. So we literally one clicked her. Now, let's go ahead and do this nice and step by step. So the first step, just go ahead to show you how good this is. Watch this. The first prompt here that I typed in, I've got an article. I'm going to click on detect text. Now, this will take a few seconds, and I expect this one to come back as AI, and absolutely it did. That's fine. We haven't humanized it yet. Let's go back into chat LLM Teams here, which is in my other browser, and watch this. This is the button that you want to click. It's humanized. It's right here in this little AI tool control bar, so to speak. Click on that. You get a whole bunch of different options. The one I'm going for is detector proof, AI detector proof, because this basically clears it all up in one shot. But if you're looking for a specific style, like funny and clever, or professional, or caring, or whatever, you can go ahead and do that. Also read here, the note, it says, we humanize the response so it does not get detected by an AI detector. Sometimes it takes two to three times for this to work because it kind of just takes the baking and then it just sort of shuffles it around. But my, uh, so far, at least a few times I've used it, it's gone to pretty much perfect with one click. So I'm going to click on regenerate. This is going to take a few seconds for the AI detector or the AI humanizer, I suppose you might want to call it, to do its dirty work. When this is done, I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you what we got. We're going to put it into zero GPT and it's going to blow your mind. Back in a sec. All right, welcome back. So let's see what we got here. We went ahead and humanized the text. When we go down here to the bottom of this text, you'll know it's humanized because when I hover over this icon, you'll see this little green dot and it says, hey, humanized response. So to go ahead and use this, all you need to do is you can copy and paste it the old way or you can just click on this little copy button here and then here copy rendered response or copied raw response. I'm going to go ahead and copy the rendered response. What the heck? Let's go ahead and go into the AI detector. Let's just command paste that in here. You'll see here the whole thing's been pasted in. This is the new version. Now watch this. Let's click on detect text. Let's see what we get here. Okay, look at that. Your text is most likely human written. It may include parts generated by AI GPT. 22%. So we went from 100% AI to 22% or 23% AI in one click. Now, I'll be honest with you, I've gone ahead and had instances where it goes from 100 to zero in one click. So you'll get a mixed bag here, but that's not to worry. It outlines exactly 
what isn't or what may be considered AI. So you can either rewrite these things or these texts manually. You just go in there and rewrite those sentences yourself. Or alternatively, go back into chat LLM and watch this. You can click on the humanize button and then we can go ahead and regenerate. We can go ahead and click on the regenerate button and this will AI detector proof it again. So we're basically rebaking it. We're adjusting the block, so to speak. Click regenerate and then take this version when it's done and this will give you an even better response. So that's all there is to it, guys. Just type in your prompt, create your article, put it into a GPT detector or an AI detector, see what you got, hit the humanize button, select the AI detection proof, which was the one I like, and then bam, if you don't get it 100% right the first time, just go ahead and click on the humanize button again until you get it right. It's literally bulletproof. It's fantastic. Links in the description below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.